Hey guys, it's Julian, uh, one half of 2-Bit Pixels here. I'm doing a little bit of a tutorial video um, to, I guess, to get this sweet mount or to farm it effectively, um, with so, sort of with a low low time frame. Um, so, Memoron's head drops from Ulduar 25 men, and there's there's a method out there where if you have a lot of alts, all you really do is use one character to get to um, Yogg-Saron and then save that prog progress and then join with your alts to continuously farm it we on a weekly basis so you have let's say if you have 10 alts you have 10 chances to farm for that head without having to run the entire raid so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that um, first off you wanna fly to Ulduar which is just in the storm peaks here just in this general area. Uh, I usually just fly to Dalaran. I know it's kind of annoying with Ronin speech, but it's probably the quickest way for me to get all my alts there at one time. <coughs> so this method is already out there, but essentially you want to use one character who can clear the raid as fast as possible. Um, we'll call it the save character. So I'm using my hunter right now, and she'll be somewhat She'll be the carrier for all of the alts that I have, just because she can clear this rather quickly, faster than my melee characters. So what we want to do is get to Yogg-Saron as quickly as possible, and then not kill Yogg-Saron. That's the most important part. So before you enter, um, you want to change your raid difficulty now. Since there's no heroic version of Ulduar, there's either 10 men or 25 men, depending on what you want to loot for. Obviously, if you're running for the mount, you want to loot. F you want to run it on 25 men. But since I'm doing this for speed alone, I'm gonna run for 10 men. I also want to get some pants that drop off the oxer on, so um, I'm gonna run on 10 men just for speed purposes. The the biggest difficulty is probably the first boss and Yogg-Saron himself. First boss is Flame Leviathan, and it's dependent on your level, so. The higher level you are, the easier it'll become. As for Yogg Saron, I'm actually going to show you the fight itself because it gets tricky after a while. A while. Um, shout out to Daniel, one of our buddies from from this game. He uh, from outside actually. He's the reason I'm making this video. I plan on doing the Lich King version of this as well uh, for the Invincible Mount, which I have yet to get. So um, I'll show you how to do that. Uh, but Daniel, yeah, I'm doing this for Daniel, just to show him how to do it. He's in he's in a few of our Hearthstone videos. So just enter the raid, <coughs> start up the uh, in first encounter. There's a bit of a speech thing, so go through that, and What you want to do is get into one of these salvage demolishers. Let's wait for it. Until it becomes clickable, so... These runs usually take 20 minutes. Uh, but once you get your save character to Yogg, it'll become a lot easier. And I'll show you once we get there. <clears throat> All right, so hop in and just head to the Flame of Ionthin. You can fire. Uh, what you don't want to do is use your pyrite here. You want to save that for Flame of Ionthin itself, because that's the thing that will burst them down rather quickly. <clears throat> Unfortunately, there isn't a boost, so you have to run this way. So just clear your mob, clear the mobs all the way to Flame Leviathan. Spam one. It doesn't really matter. You won't die there. You have far too much life, especially if you're max level. Like I said, um, the amount that your demolisher has a life is dependent on your level. So the lower level you are, the harder it is to make it to the very end without completely getting wrecked. Okay, so just back up a bit so you can start firing at him as soon as he spawns. Oh, 
So you want to just have him in your screen and just spam the hell out of the pyrite. He should die. Uh, you can even see. He'll go down rather quickly. He might get to you, but if you distance yourself enough, he shouldn't be able to touch you. Yeah. And the reason we kill the stragglers here is just so we can mount. Yeah. If we don't kill the guys here, it'll just take us longer to mount, so we just really want to mount. So now we can go ahead and mount. So we'll go to the next boss. Uh, don't forget to loot him. Uh, loot whatever you want. Obviously you can loot it for gold. But other than that, don't need anything from here. So go ahead. Kill the next boss, which I believe is the XT constructor. I probably should have just barraged it, but whatever, it's down anyway. So, this belt and a ring, don't need any of those. <coughs> Next, you'll want to go to the antechamber. So, now this boss is pretty easy. Especially with barrage, just bam, just, <laughs> just hit barrage on the chest, and then he just, she should go down. You know. For the mount to drop, it is imperative that you not ask for any guardian's help when you fight Yoxeron. So every time you kill one of the guardians, uh, they'll appear outside of this, uh, right in the antechamber, and then you can. There's an option to click on them and ask for their help during that fight. You do not want their help. So this guy is pretty much as a target and kill as fast as you can. Send your set my pet in. It. Uh, if you kill him fast enough, you'll open the other chest over here. So we're just killing the guardians in the order of the uh, circle here. <coughs> Next one I believe is Hodir, unless we run into the cat lady. There she is. There is an achievement if you just kill her before you kill any of her cats. So you can go ahead and do that. Get that achievement. Oh, and the sweet ma uh, shield drop. I never get it on my warriors, though. So this is the part where you can get stunned in these circles, so you just want to run around here. Mm. There's another achievement too where you can kill her before you kill him. But I'll just start to fight. Just wait till he comes down and just wreck everyone, so... So... Kill shot should be enough. See, this is what I'm talking about. Uh, when you defeat a guardian, it appears here, and there is a chance for a text um, encounter. You do not want to talk to anyone. Well, you can talk to them, but just don't accept their help. Next one is Freya. All right. Uh, the interesting thing about this here is you can mount, so you can mount straight to her, which is great. Start to fight. And then wait till everyone uh, comes and then just, there you go, just hit barrage and that's it. So we want to go to the next one, which I believe is Mimiron. So we're going to use this porter here, we're going to go to the spark, just walk down. Now uh, beating him on the, I guess the difficulty mode, I don't know what it's called, the enrage mode, when you hit the button instead of just aggroing him, does not affect the chances for Mimiron's head to drop. It just affects the loot that drops for Mimiron himself, so doesn't really matter. I'll just hit button. So the thing about this is you have to kill each part of the body within a specific set of time, but since you're max level, not too long. And if you have barrage, super easy. 
So we got six seconds until it starts. Is it barrage? Yeah, that should be it. There you go. And that's it. And that should take us to... Who's left of the Guardians? I think that was the last Guardian. We just have to kill the... The weird looking squid dude. Go back to the Conservatory of Life. And as you see, we are here. So Spark of Imagination was up this way. So we're going down to the Hall of Memories. I just pull him. Okay, that's it. Uh, nothing good. Kill this guy because he's looking at me funny. Alright. Okay, so now this is where um, it is important about the order you do things. So because we use this character to get the Oxer on, once you go through this gate, it starts the encounter. You do not want to do that. What you want to do is just sit down and log out. Okay guys, um, once you've successfully logged out, you want to log into one of your alts. Um, an alt that can complete the Yogg-Sarong encounter, ideally uh, a decently geared one. So I'm on my Shadow Priest right now because I want to show Daniel how to complete the encounter as a Shadow Priest. But the important thing is you're going to be logging in and out from your save tune. So the character that you did clear Ulduar with to all of your alts. So it, the process is the same. So once your save tune is in front of Yogg-Saron's chamber, you want to log out and then jump onto one of your alts. And what you're going to start with is you're going to create a group. Um, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to start a group in the legacy so it's obscure because I don't want people joining. So I'm going to choose Ruby Sanctum and then put YYZ for Toronto. We're going to list the group. And then after that, we're going to put auto accept on because as our save tune, we're going to join this group. Okay. So now we just log out. Great. So now we hop on to our, we'll do our save character, the hunter, and we join that group we just made. So now as this character, since we're joining someone's group, all of our progression, all the stuff that we made, gets transferred over. So we're going to find a group here. Actually it was in Legacy. We should be the first one at the top. As you can see it's over there. So we're going to sign up and it should invite us automatically. So now we're in the group. Now our last step to do here is to log out one more time and log into the group leader. Okay, so we'll wait here. 20 seconds and then we'll log back in. The whole reason we do this is we want the alt to be able to be in control and change the rate difficulty. As you can see we're at 10, we want to do it on 25. So when we log out it should transfer us to our priest and we should be able to have controls as everyone else. So we're going to boot this person who joined and then we're going to uninvite everyone. Okay, now we have our alt with the progression saved. What we want to do is reset all instances and change it to 25. Okay, so we'll go from 10 to 25 just to make sure it shows on here. Okay, so if you remember our hunter com uh, completed most of the raid on we'll do our 20, uh, 10 man. So when we enter the raid now this is how you know you've done it correctly. You'll be hit with a prompt asking for Ulduar 25 men. And you can see the bosses that we still have yet to kill. So yogg is still available there. And what we're going to do is accept. And then we're going to kick the save tune out. Because otherwise, if we complete the boss with the save tune here, it'll save that progression and we'll lose the the current um, save point that she has. So we're going to uninvite, we're going to delist our group, and now for all intents and purposes we have the Yogg-Sarong farm on tap. So I'm going to show you how to beat 
Yogg Saron with a Shadow Priest because it's, it's really not dif that difficult as you can see if you look at my character. My level is 670 so it's not really that, that high. Um, so the encounter is pretty easy. Just stand under Sarah. You'll get a, a massive um, mobs and you need to destroy them under her so she loses her life. They have an AoE and it um, it does damage to her. So the biggest problem that I was talking to Daniel was about um, those tentacles that come out and one slows permanently. Oh, not permanently. There's a um, there's a debuff where it slows and there's another debuff that stuns you every two or three seconds. So um, it's a DPS race for the most part. The name of the game is to kill tentacles as fast as you can. Uh, that's what we're going to use Shadow Word Pain for. And when we have um, Mind Blast up. So first we're going to kill these guys. Cascade. We should kill everything around her. Okay. Oh, so we still need to kill one more and that's it. <clears throat> so there's two phases. Ten the first phase is the tentacle phase. And then the second phase is when you go into Yogg-Saron's Nightmare. And y that, that phase is kind of difficult because you need to burst them as fast as possible. Otherwise, if you get stuck in the Nightmare, you will die. And there's no way around that. So, um... Uh, on 25 men, you will not die from losing insanity unless you look at the apparitions that you're not supposed to look at in the nightmare. So right now, I'm tabbing through all of these and just spamming uh, Shadow Word Pain. And I can use my Mind Spike too, but what we're going to do is just tab around to find all the tentacles that spawn. Because we want to kill the Corruptor Tentacles. So let's see. It's this one over here. Because they spawn. Or they shoot things out that we really want to kill. We can't have them up. Okay. That. Running around, trying to find some tentacles. There's... no, that's Sarah. There's a tentacle over there. We're gonna hit him with this. As you can see, I'm cursed. The damage part's not that, that much of a problem. So there should be one more. Okay, and then we're gonna go inside the portal. And now we just have to kill all the aspects here. Wanna target them as quickly as possible. Oh, and the, once you see this sign, it's time to burst them down. So you have a set amount of time. Inducing Madness is there. You have 34 seconds to kill him. And it should be pretty much a DPS race and you should be able to do it. You'll get booted out from here and then you just kill him as normal. That's it. Easy mode. Now since you are at a high level, uh, you should be able to dodge most of the tentacles projectiles. Although I did get hit by apathy. But other than that, it's an easy encounter. Yep. That's it. Should be it. Yeah. And hopefully if you're lucky enough, you can get the mount. If not, uh... Try hop onto your other ults and good luck to that. So let's see if we got it. We got a pole arm, chest piece. Nope, we just got mantles. So, well, uh, this ends our uh, my tutorial.